I see all over YouTube in the self-improvement space, there's a lot of different kinds of videos. There's videos about making a business, like making money, there's videos about fitness. Those get pretty decent views, but the videos that get by far the most views are videos telling you not to wax your carrot. Literally, people make careers on YouTube because they're telling you not to jerk off. So we've reached a point in society where people have villainized waxing your carrot. I'm just going to refer to it as that because it sounds funny. They villainize that. And because so many young guys, I'd argue over 95% of young guys are borderline addicted to masturbating. These people make careers out of it. They make money out of it. They sell courses on how to... I don't even know how to say it. It's like use your sexual energy to like, it's some, listen, it could work, but at the end of the day, most of this stuff is a placebo. NoFap is kind of, it's flawed in many ways. People have to understand that it began as a meme. It never really had the intention of becoming this thing where it's like, I'm on day 181 and I can fly because I didn't masturbate for 181 days in a row. And every day you're counting your streak with the crazy anxiety and the stress that, oh my God, what if I break my streak today? And it's a very touchy subject. <laughs> it, it's a sensitive topic. A lot of people, they don't really want to talk about it because most guys are addicted to it. I'm not going to lie to you. I've had my experiences with this thing. I don't like to say it because it's, it's fucking embarrassing, right? People have to realize that masturbation is a part of life. There's literally monkeys in the wild that masturbate. It's part of our biology. It's part of who we are. And I don't think the NoFap community realizes this. They villainize it. They criticize it like crazy. They say it does this, 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 this to you. And to the poor young guys who are watching these videos, they're going back and forth watching NoFap video after NoFap video. Guys being like, I'm 30 days in on NoFap. Meanwhile, they look like they're 140 pounds at six feet tall. They build nothing for their physique. They build no income. Well, they're, they're building income because they're making videos on NoFap. But the point is like, this isn't the key. People have to understand that it's not like you stop jizzing and all of a sudden your life becomes dreamland. Like it doesn't work that way. It's a tool you can use to focus better, to increase your cognitive abilities. It's probably not going to give you female attraction. In fact, it's definitely not going to give you female attraction. What gives you female attraction is the confidence you get from not doing it because you kind of have the feeling that like I'm ahead of everyone else because I'm not touching myself. I'm not being weird. And you're, you don't have that disgust and that shame in yourself. That's mainly where the female attraction that everyone talks about comes from. It's not that, oh, you store your energy and so the energy radiates through pheromones and females detect it and you get your dick wet like nothing. It's not like that. People make it seem like it's the end all be all. It's like the greatest thing ever. But genuinely what it is, is a test of your own discipline. Because whatever you do, there's going to be masturbation in your life. Sex is going to be in your life. It's a part of life. It's the essence of life. And so unless you have a partner, even if you do have a partner for a lot of guys, it's kind of just something that's always going to be there. And I feel like the most contradictory aspect of this whole nofap thing is that most young guys are abstaining from ejaculation so that they can ejaculate with a woman. Think about that. Most guys are abstaining from touching themselves so they can get laid. If that's not the most contradictory thing you've heard, then I don't know what is. And so my stance on this whole nofap thing is that counting your streak and like being super obsessed about it is kind of stupid because from my experience, if you get super serious about doing something and you genuinely develop a distaste for that habit, it goes away. People, they, they force themselves. They're like, I'm not going to touch myself. I'm not going to touch. And two days in, they relapse, they relapse, they relapse, they break their streaks. And they feel like shit about themselves. This is one of those things where if you just let go of it, it's going to disappear. You don't have to push yourself and discipline yourself super hard through it. It kind of just goes away when you have the right mindset. And that right mindset for me was really focusing in on something and genuinely just developing a distaste for degenerative content. I guess you could say, call it pornography, right? I was never really super into that kind of like pornography type thing obviously you are when you're a kid you see it and shit like that and you kind of you're wired to like it so you start liking it but i never got super deep into it thank god 
that's the culprit. The main culprit is the actual content. It's the pornography itself. It's not you touching yourself because regardless, at, at some point in your life, you're going to bust a number. Whether it's with your hand or with, it's with the chick, you're going to do it. Yes, it helps you out a lot. It increases your focus. Most importantly, it increases your confidence. But there will come a day where you're going to bust, bro. <laughs> That's what it is. Your focus should be quitting pornography, quitting that aspect of it instead of quitting the touching yourself aspect of it. Definitely abstain from both. But the main thing is the pornography. And again, like I said, <clears throat> it's not something that you have to kind of like force yourself out of. People make it seem like you have all these withdrawal symptoms, like it's an addiction. If you're focused so hard on a goal or not even like a good goal, if you have a way of living your life that doesn't involve that degenerative behavior, it just goes away. Like your desire and your lust for that kind of thing just dissociates. It's not even like you have to try. It just goes away. So people who are on NoFap are not disciplined by any means, because I guarantee you, like I've experienced this myself even. You try and do it and then the rest of your life goes to shit because you're putting all of your effort into not touching yourself. It's so, it's so funny to me how like these guys are saying I'm on day 30, I'm on day 59, I'm on day 252. Meanwhile, they haven't done shit because they're so focused on this number. And when that number breaks, it's like their whole world collapses. Take someone fat who's first going to work out. If they skip one day at the gym after a year straight of doing good workouts, are you going to criticize them and say they're shit? Are you going to say they lost all their gains? It doesn't work like that. And the same thing goes for this habit. So I'm not going to lie. This video is a, a good way to get views. And a lot of these YouTubers are getting so many views saying I had a terrible porn addiction. And after two weeks of no fat, my entire life changed. I guarantee it's 90% bullshit. A lot of these guys, they did not go through this because it's not a matter of you just wake up and it disappears. Like you, you go through the process of it, of hopping on no fap and trying to quit yourself. And then you realize slowly that if I just focus on what I'm doing and I change generally everything bad in my life, I get rid of all my bad habits, that kind of disappears too. Focus on your work, focus on what you do. And over time, this habit will kind of just dissociate and go away. And you'll notice that this entire time, you were so focused on that number. You were so focused on just pushing yourself and not touching yourself. Meanwhile, it was so easy from the beginning. All you had to do was let go and it would have been gone. So I'm making this topic because it, apparently it's a very devastating thing for a lot of young guys. Every, like I swear, every NoFab video gets like 50,000 views. I don't understand what it is. <laughs> it's really funny to me because... Everyone's just looking for the right answer of how to do it, how to do it, how to do it. But like, why don't you just focus on all your other goals? Why don't you focus on all the other things you have to do instead of just that? Quit porn, gradually reduce it, progressively deload it. If I had to give an explanation in terms and if masturbation continues in your life and you're still progressing, you're still doing good, you're making money and you're doing the things you want to do, then I don't really get the reason to get rid of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Obviously, if you can get rid of it and it helps you, you genuinely realize that it helps you, it increases your confidence, that's when you kind of lock in and you say, no, I'm not going to do this. But to put so much unnecessary stress on yourself and for these pathetic YouTubers to put so much unnecessary stress on young men for this little topic, when there's a whole broad range of other things they got to worry about in their life, it just disappoints me. And so if you're struggling with no fap, I recommend you... Quit the habit as much as you can, but not to the point where it's causing you stress and anxiety and to where you cannot understand why you're not quitting it. Focus on what matters more. People in the freaking Viking era were not concerned about their nofap streaks. They just went to war. They did what they had to do. They probably slept with 50 chicks in like a month. They didn't care about nofap or like this esoteric bullshit. Like they just did what they had to do. So that's what I recommend you do as well. I hope this video was informative. Reject mediocrity, embrace mastery.